Hi, today I am going to share with you on how to read the voltage using an analog multi-tester. As you can see, we have here the scale of our multi-tester. You can see the numbers 10, 50, and 250. In our selector knob or selector switch, we can in here we can select from 10, 50, 250, and 1000 AC volts. For example, we are going to switch this into 10 volts. So how are we going to read using the setting 10 volts? In here, the setting is, for example, 10. Now, how are we going to read that if the needle points here? Okay, so let's see first how do we read each graduation or each, each deflection. Okay, so in here we have 10. So let us count. The number of lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so from 2 there are 10 deflection 10 graduation 10 lines 2 divided by 10 that is equivalent to 0 0.2 meaning each line is equivalent to 0 0.2 volts if that is 0.2 volts, we can now read this setting as this is 2, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6. So this is 2.6 volts. I hope that is clear with you. Now, what if the setting becomes 50? What if we are going to set the selector knob to 50 volts. Let us count again the number of lines. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Since this is set into 50, this is equivalent to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And there are 10 lines. 10 divided by 10 is 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Therefore, each line is equivalent to 1. Each division, it's the, each deflection is equivalent to 1. It is easier to count if the setting is 50 because each line is equivalent to 1. Therefore, if it is equivalent to 1, we can now read this as 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 volts. I hope you get it. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So in here, the reading is 13 volts. Now, what if we set the multi-tester into 250 volts? If that is 250 volts, we can refer into the curve here, the red curve. Okay, so in here, let us count again the graduation. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5. 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5. Therefore, each graduation is equal to 5. So let us count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Until we reach the 250 volts. So let us try to answer the given. Okay, so let us count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 
70. So the reading now is 70 volts. Again, I hope that is clear with you. This is 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. 70 volts. Now, what if we are going to switch it or select the 1000 volts? How are we going to read that? If we set that into 1000 volts, let us refer to 10. We are going to multiply 10 by 100 to get 1000. Therefore, each graduation is equivalent to 0 0.2. If you can still recall, if the setting is 10, each graduation or each line is equivalent to 0 0.2. 0 0.2 multiplied by 100. Therefore, each line, each deflection is equivalent to 20. If that is equivalent to 20 volts, each line, so let us count, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Now let us read this one. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. 220, 240, 260. Therefore, the reading is 260 volts. I hope you get it. You have learned something from what I have shared with you today. Remember, when using the multi-tester, you have to set first into the highest setting. For example, in our outlets, that is 220 volts, we have to set into 250 volts for us to be safe. I hope that is clear with you. See you next time. Bye!